How's it going everybody? This is Mr. Bonome. Nice to see you all. Today in this video, what I'm going to be going over is how to take a large multiplication equation and make it a little bit easier. We don't want to memorize a whole bunch of facts, but instead what we want to do is break apart one of the factors, and I'm going to show you, and use a strategy called the distributive property. All right, so let's look at an example like this. 7 times, let's do 7 times 6, all right? A lot of students might try to do skip counts by 6s, do skip count by 7s. That's all good. It's all great. I'm going to show another strategy so when we get to larger numbers, and I'll give it for the next example, this strategy is really going to help out, all right? So check me out. 7 times 6. What I'm going to do first is draw a 7 times 6. I'm going to draw an array. I'll make a rectangle. I've been showing the students this and labeling. Um, I'm going to make my rows first. I need 7 rows. So I have 7 rows and I'm going to just count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. I have my seven rows. Now, these are my seven rows. I need my six columns. Six columns. All right? So my columns go up and down. One, two, three, four. Ah! I made an error. Four, five, six. All right? So I have seven times six. I could count one, 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 one. I could count them all up. I could write my skip counts at the end of each row. I could do that. But I want to show this new strategy that's going to be really helpful when other large equations are coming up. So bear with me. What I'm going to do is split this array. Now, a lot of kids may not know 7 times 6 off the top of their head, but they know a lot of their 5 times things. So what I'm going to do is I see that this has one, two, three, four, five columns, but then I'm going to split it like this, okay? Just like that. So now I have two smaller arrays. I have one on this side over here on the left side of this line, and I have one on the right side. So let's look at it. On this side, I'm gonna have an equation that looks like this. And now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows. That hasn't changed. Now let's look at the columns. One, two, three, four, five. So over here is a seven times five. On this side, right over here, let's see how many rows I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven rows times how many columns even though I have the number six there this is just one column so seven times one so my new equation is seven times five in parentheses plus seven times one in parentheses seven times five I can skip count by five five ten fifteen twenty twenty five thirty thirty five I'm gonna write thirty five right under 7 times 1 is 7, and now I simply have to add 35 plus 7, and that equals 42. All right? Now, some of you might know what 7 times 6 is. I'm going to show why this strategy is good when there are larger numbers. And I don't know if you know this as well, we only broke apart one of the factors. This 7 remained the same in both equations. Because we broke up those six columns, we broke it up into five columns, which is a five right here, that second factor. And we broke it into one column over here, which that one represents over here. All right? So watch this example. It's a little bit bigger. You can actually pause it after I do it to see if you can do it on your own. And then um, try to figure it out. So I will do... 14 times 
six. You can pause the video, try to do it yourself, and then resume so then you can see how I do it. So 14 represents the rows, six represents the columns. I'm gonna draw, this one I know has to be big, so I'm gonna draw a big rectangle. I always start with my rows first. Let me label them just to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Ah, see? Good thing I labeled it. I put an extra row. So I'm going to erase that. Let me erase that. This is why labeling is important. It's very important. We all make errors, we're all human beings. Now I'm going to do my six columns. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know if you did. If you notice, I put five lines. And now I'm going to label it. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So I have my six columns. I don't know my four teams. Skip counting by four teams is a lot. I can skip count by six 14 times, but that's a lot also. But I know my five times table. So I'm looking to see where I could split this from my fives. Actually, I even know because this is a 14, I even know my tens times table. So what I would do is split this up right after my 10th row. And watch the two multiplication equations. I could, you could pause it right now and think about what equation would be with this array, and then for this bottom array, what equation would match that? You can pause the video, try it out for yourself, and then resume it once you figure it out. All right, so when I look, I have 10 rows right here. So 10 is my first factor, and then I have one, two, three, four, five, six columns. So 10 times 6 equals 60. Down here on this bottom array, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 rows. And then I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 columns. 4 times 6, 4 times 6 is 24. Now I'm going to just set up my equation. And I'll put it under here so you can see what I actually broke up. I have uh, 10 times 6 in parentheses plus 4 times 6. I know that 60 plus 24, those two combined equal 84. All right? And I don't know if you noticed, I had the 14 rows and I had the six columns. The six, that factor stays the same. The first factor has changed. So instead of a 14, it's a 10. Instead of a 14, it's a four. 10 rows is right here. Four rows is right here. 10 plus four equals 14 rows. And I now know that 14 times 6 equals 84. So this is the distributed property, but also it's taking larger equations, breaking up one factor. That 14 I broke up into a 10 and a 4, and that second factor stays the same to find bigger multiplication equations. It's a really, really good skill, especially when you get to two-digit times one-digit numbers. All right, so rewatch the video. I hope this was helpful. Peace.